Lightstar is an internationally acclaimed visionary artist and celestial channel who speaks over 20 universal galactic languages. These channeled transmissions activate soul memories and transmit divine healing codes. She's also the creator and artist of magical dimensions, oracle cards, and activators. The visionary art and channel messages offer exquisite opportunities to self-transformation, illumination, and healing. Put your hands together for Mrs. Lightstar. Hello, everyone. So good to see you guys. Wow. Shining faces, smiling faces. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hey, I just want to say, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to everybody who put this conference on Rion and all the different people, Brian doing the sound and all the different people, Thunderbeat, all the, everybody that put it on here. Just give a round of applause for, yay. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's really, really, we've all been waiting for this, right? Because last year, and uh, we're all really, really excited to be here and to share our uh, gifts and our wisdom and our laughter and our joy and our energies and our hearts with all of you. So um, I want to uh, just, I was thinking about what to you know, speak about for the conference and um, something came in, which I put together for you guys that I'm gonna go through. I also have some music in the background, which on cue, Brian, if you can get the music going, it's just some music that I've created. Um, I started to create music, believe it or not, and um, something that I wanted to play in the background so that you guys get a visual activation as well as a, a sound activation. And so we're going to do some of this activating today. But the topic I want to talk about, this is called the Blue Star Awakening. And it's actually from my Transcension 2222 Vision Quest and music. And this is the music only. There is a, I created a series of these for people to go through and have some experiences with a Vision Quest. And then I separated it for just the music part of it. So, um, and also they'll probably play another one as well. But what I wanted to talk about, oh, I have to stand in the light. Stand in the light. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can see if I'm standing here. Uh, I'll try to you know, move a little bit so that you guys can see the slides. But um, I decided to talk about healing shields. And the reason that I created uh, these healing shields, which I'm gonna go over, is because of, uh, well, many different reasons, but I had something happen to me, which I'll go into when I'm talking about these, in 2019, okay, so timing-wise, this all happened before everything started to hit and go crazy, but I was receiving information about uh, downloading codes, symbols, art uh, images that are specific for people in, uh, to help them in different realms. Okay, so the mental, emotional, uh, spiritual, environmental, all different kind of things, astral. So I wanted to create uh, some of these because basically, I guess we all need this. <laughs> so usually when things come in is because we need them. And there's things that are about uh, my artwork that tends to activate people. So that's why they brought through these healing shields. And so that's the purpose for them is they will activate, they will also, as the word is, shield, okay? They will shield and deflect some of the negative and lower vibrations that we all deal with in these different areas. So that's the one thing that I really wanted to uh, bring forth. And I'm gonna share some of these with you so that you can understand them. And visually you should get activated because a lot of times people are watching in the past, I've done, uh, videos where I just had my artwork running in the background and I had some people that would come up after and just I was just mesmerized by it you know and getting activated by it and almost didn't really hear what I was saying because they were so activated by the art and that's perfectly okay but I want to share a little bit more about what the uh, images are and what they uh, represent because there are seven shields that I created and I have also created healing codes for people. 
Uh, the differences are the healing shields are a bit more on the repatterning, kind of deflecting, but also bringing in positive energies of love. My healing codes, which I will maybe go through another time, are seven of those, and they are uh, connected to solfeggio tones, and they also have uh, certain frequencies in them for the higher realms, bringing in those higher energies. But for now, we kind of needed some help in, in these certain areas. So I want to go through them with you guys uh, and share them. So let's go. Oh, this has to go that way. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the first one, can you guys see that? Okay. Oh, oops. Go backwards. Not that one yet. That one. Okay. The first one that I'm going to share here is called the Universal Healing Shield. Now this one, as you can see, it's got a lot of golden energies, golden light, because this particular shield is connected most specifically with your higher self and your connections directly to source, to God, directly straight through, okay? So this is the higher light energies and the connection there. So this is going to be very helpful for people who have difficulty connecting to their higher self or connecting to source energies. And it also uh, provides a sense of positive energy. It flows in positive frequencies. This is the one of the healing shields that I call the master key. And the reason is because this one flows through and activates all the rest of the uh, different healing shields. And so it actually provides a whole full body, I guess, or full chakra, chakratic system energy upgrade as well. So I always recommend if people are going to be working with any of my uh, shields that they usually kind of get or start with the uh, universal healing shield because this one really just ties you directly into where you need to be in your center and in your balance point. So if you're knocked off and you know center and you can't get quite get back, this is the healing shield that can help to bring the energies back home right back home oh wow okay <laughs> and let there not be light right <laughs> but you probably can see it a little bit better too thank you so with the codes and the symbols that are built in here it's a lot of energy that comes out um and the vibration here is very high it's also bringing in the god light energy within all of you all of your creator energy ship um, it really holds the energy down and grounds it and so that's the importance of this because I think uh, throughout the last few years, everybody's been having trouble with, you know, staying centered and staying balanced, staying in their higher self, staying, you know, attuned to who they are. And this one is the best one to utilize. So it um, has a lot of clearing energy too, but it, it, the shields, these are all going to be in the shape of shields for a very specific reason. Okay. And so and I go, I guess I have to go this way. The next one we're going to talk about is the Purification Healing Shield. Now, this one has all the vibrancy and the color and the life of Gaia, right? It's the physical energy. It's the uh, one that you connect with when you are doing any kind of cellular cleansing. It has a connection to your biology, okay? so but it also connects into the abundance factor. So this is anything in manifestation in your realm, anything that you are trying to manifest uh, in the physical tangible things, and that does have to do with money and tangible things as well that you're trying to create you know, in your life. So it's abundance, it's bringing in frequencies of uh, regenerating, recellular regeneration, and the Gaia energies, okay? So they also, this one also connects with the etheric body or the etheric field as well, because the etheric body is the one where you will, uh, your health imprint or your healing imprint health is all uh, imprinted into the etheric body. And that also comes down as connected into your uh, physical structure. So this one is really powerful to work with when you're dealing with these types of things, um, created energy, green, you know, all the colors um, don't necessarily correspond to the chakras individually, 
my healing codes actually do connect with certain chakras but this one these kind of vibrate on different levels so they're not necessarily connecting to uh, the specific chakras but they do have elements of them uh, as well so that is the purification healing shield we're going to move on to this psychic healing shield this one I have a this is actually the one that started it all and the reason why is because in about I think it was around 2018 something like that 19 before I created these I had been experiencing some kind of uh, psychic attack I mean I don't know if anybody of you guys have ever experienced that <laughs> but it's not fun okay and I hadn't really experienced it to that level or to that extreme level and I was trying all different things, nothing was working, you know, we all tried the different things, but it just wasn't happening. So I had this thing come in when I was um, experiencing this, and I had some visual come forth, and it was the visual of this, pretty much, in a, in a raw form. And I put this sort of overlaid it on top of my energies, like an overlay, and it just immediately deflected everything. I was. I was blown away and you know this is how we get our downloads <laughs> we get our downloads from things that we're having experiences with and they just come in and go oh okay that's apparently I'm supposed to you know have this experience because I'm supposed to create these and that's how it works so that is what happened here and so I immediately created this and it is so powerful so it does help on the psychic levels these are going to be the the shields for mental state, you know, when you're confused, you know, everything's all confused and you don't know what's up, what's down. Your mental uh, space is maybe being invaded by perhaps other people psychically. Uh, all those kinds of things, this shield is very powerful for. And it, it brings a, a sense of, um, I would say this one connects, I don't usually, say necessarily a certain race but some, I do have the races that can connect with certain uh, shields and the Arcturians connect with this one a lot so uh, vibrationally they come in and, and do a lot of the purification in the energy field of the mind which I call the mind field sometimes because it feels like you're walking through a mind field in your mind you know just all of a sudden woof, 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 you know that's how it feels like when we're walking through this so this clears and purifies that thought forms and clears the field and helps in that area. So this is a really, really powerful uh, one to work with. And again, all of these are just like visual activations, but they also contain codes that the more you look at them, the more you integrate, the more it works for you. And it works in mysterious ways. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but just the mysteriousness of how you think it's gonna work is may not exactly how it will show up it working in your life it just it has a very unique uh, undercurrent and subconscious way of working okay so let's go to the couldn't forget about the impasse how many impasse in here ah, just about everybody right and those of you who didn't raise your hand you probably are just not calling it that because everybody is so but basically the impasse shield is really all about the emotions it's all about the emotional body and so this one works so well for all of the people that are intuitive empaths that have trouble with what boundaries <laughs> boundaries 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 so in learning boundaries we've all had to experience this type of thing but this shield will actually actually help you in creating healthy boundaries okay there is such thing as too many boundaries and we've seen this in uh, where you have too many things like heart walls you know built up over time and as we like to say it's like you have a gate around your heart and then you have another gate and then you have another gate and then you got two Doberman pinchers in front of it right another gate in front of that and you just can't get through well that's excessive boundaries okay that is not a healthy thing, but we all do need to have some boundaries, right? Otherwise, we can't really function down here too well. So I like this one because it deals with the emotional body, which most of us are dealing with on a regular basis around here. So when you're dealing with issues of other people's stuff, and even in your own stuff, riding the roller coaster 
of emotions, right? But other people's emotions. This also helps to deflect that so that you don't take on other people's stuff and other people's issues, anger, you know, even sadness, grief, all that stuff that a lot of healers, which a lot of people in this room tend to take on as their own, okay? This one really helps to say, it's not yours. You don't have to take it. You don't have to process it even. You can still be there and effective as a healer and be there and have that empathy for them. And compassion is probably even better to have and just not take it on. So I love this one. It works just so well. And it's just, it's like this watery kind of energy that helps to rebalance. And the thing that these shields really help with is repatterning. I find that they just repattern the way that you have been or the way that maybe hasn't been working in your past and then it repatterns a new vibrational uh, situation frequency so that you can uh, be more effective in what you're doing okay so I go to the astral healing shield playing in the astral plane this one is uh, really helpful for people in, well, we're all working in the astral plane, especially at night in our dream time, right? We work in the dream time constantly, so we're never getting a rest, we're never getting a break. We work, work, work through. But this also helps to deflect some of those lower negative energies that are working in the astral plane. So hey, there's a lot of positive stuff there, but there's also a lot of things that are, you know, nasty and you don't want to be messing with in the astral plane so this is also very helpful in deflecting this reminds me of it doesn't look like it as far as visually but the energy of it reminds me of um who's seen uh you know dr strange anyone know dr strange right okay remember when he creates these shields right and then they get kind of go through these different portals but um, it's this sort of energy, but there's a there's a scene in, in that uh, movie that where he is, um, the name of the movie, if it's Doctor Strange or if it's in another one, but um, it's when he is in, well, there are a lot of scenes in that movie about them being in different uh, state of their astral body. So they kind of lift up, you know, and this whole ghostly like energy comes out of their own physical form and they're in their astral form. And the thing that connects you is that cord, right? The, the cord, the silver cord that if you, if that gets severed, you're gone. Okay. So we don't want to sever that cord before it's time. And so this shield also helps to strengthen that uh, umbilical cord, if you will, to not sever that cord and to strengthen it so that you can have astral experiences in the, the, that realm without diving into some of the negative stuff okay so that's why i really like this one um also deflecting uh entities okay some of the energies that you just do not want to be playing around with this can help to deflect them in the astral this also connects into the etheric body i said that the uh purification shield also works with the etheric but so does this one because as you dream and you go through stuff in your dream space and you're in your astral body, or even if you're astral traveling, not in a, a dream, but in a meditation or something, go out of body, you're bringing back all sorts of things that get imprinted into the etheric body. And when the etheric body gets the imprint of that, it then moves down into your physical body and into your chakra systems. So that's why it's really important to keep that area very clear and very clean so this helps to it's like a breath of fresh air is kind of how i see this this shield working and you just sort of breathe because it's um you know that the astral body is sort of like the air element you know it's kind of the unseen but it's this breath of fresh air that brings that in and helps you to stay very centered and very grounded when you're in your state of astral traveling or astral energy or dream state or lucid dreaming or one of those types of situations uh, also in your meditation okay All right okay i don't know if you can read that it's a little hard to read but it's uh the guardian healing shield uh this one is connected to the galactic realms so 
This um, particular shield is very interesting. It actually is connecting to ETs, okay? So extraterrestrial energies. And, um, but I would say it helps to also connect you with your star family. So those of you guys who are connecting, most everybody in this room, right, wants to connect to their star family and connect to uh, positive ETs. We don't want to be working with the ones that are super low vibrational. And so this particular shield helps to connect with that of the higher realms. The ones that you're going to be dealing with um, here are the guardians, okay? I've done an image called Guardian Sacred Builder that is talks a lot about the guardian race or what it's not really a race i shouldn't say that i always say it but it's not a race it is a conglomeration like a federation of multiple different species and i started to get information from uh, them many many years ago i never even heard of it but as it came forward um, and was getting more information it's like um i just saw randy Kramer behind the seats uh, behind here and he was wearing the uh, golden lantern which I'm sorry the green lantern and anyone who's seen that movie it's one of my favorite movies of all of them and uh, in the beginning of that scene they talk they see uh, you see the uh, council of these just they're all different looking these beings that look different and they are sworn to uh, the oath to uh, protect and to secure the areas of what they work in in the realm so they're like this giant council or federation and the guardians are very much like that where they have a very high uh, realm to work in and so this shield really connects you to them and what they help you to do is to bring down blueprints they are what i've received from my download is that they are the overseers of the blueprinters group and they also are some of the overseers of the ancient builder races. And so the, if you think about, that's a pretty wide scope and they work in a lot of different realms, but they do help us tremendously here on earth as they do in many other planets. So <clears throat> that's why I called it the guardian healing shield instead of the galactic healing shield, even though it connects with the galactic realms, it's very powerful, okay? And it also helps to uh, those of you guys that deal or have or experience implants <laughs> that aren't so pleasant, okay, um, or negative implants or something, this shield also really helps to clear that field of all the negative implants and to uh, either dissolve them if they're not uh, for your highest good or to replace them with even positive, Im you know, some implants that are not negative. There are some good ones that we get from our star family. So uh, only connecting you to those beings though they're of the highest frequency for you and if people have had negative experiences like in uh, where people will say they've been abduct abducted or something and they've had negative trauma and stuff like that that can also help to clear it because this is really overlaying a very high positive vibration on the whole field okay so Lastly, we have on this section, we've got the Ascension Healing Shield. That's what we're all working on, right? The Ascension, yay! And this is bringing in the energies of angelic and galactic somewhat, but it's more angelic. Also, the high vibrations of your spiritual guides. So the ones that you work with, the high vibrations of those energies to help you with Ascension. Now, Sandal Bear and I always like to say, you guys, we've all ascended already, okay? We've already done this. We've already done this, so we don't have to keep trying to ascend. We're just back here doing it here on this planet, yes, but we're doing it again. So we've already done this, okay? So some of this is about just energizing the, uh, the frequency of you being perhaps even teacher, but connecting to your own ascension. And that's what is very important here, is to get your spiritual guides connected to you, and it comes full circle. This is a, uh, and also I wanna say uh, contract completion, because you're when you're having to do with contracts here, we're all you know, dealing with contracts. Some of them we want to complete, and sometimes we can actually request a, a rapid completion of that contract. So you can attune to your uh, Ascension Spiritual uh, Shield to help with that as well. and. Like I said, these work in succession, 
but the order that I brought them forth here is actually the order that I recommend people work with them and um, and provide you know that whole full uh, encompassing energy scope of all of them together as they work in a beautiful unison um, but that's the order that I like to work with them in terms of the realms when you're dealing with the realms always start with internal your higher self connection to source and then you end with the spiritual connection where it's sandwiched in middle is all of the stuff we, we're dealing with all the time on our physical mental spiritual emotional kind of bodies okay so I have a um, so that's the seven healing shields now I'm gonna show you this picture <laughs> This is my little story about these, okay? Um, at the end of March, I decided finally, you know what? I'm going to put up all the healing shields on my our wall in the house. I hadn't done it. I was like, wow, I was kind of surprised I hadn't done it. But timing, I decided it was right time. So I put them all up and Stands with Bear and I stood in front of them. This was the end of March, just last month. And we stood up there and we, oh my gosh, we were like, wow, the energy just changed in the whole room. We just felt like everything shifted and we we're, whoa, literally like a, you know, breath of fresh air just blew in the house. Like everything just kind of shifted in that moment. We really felt it. And so we had, we were just like, whoa. So a week goes by, April 1st comes around <laughs> and April 1st, I thought was an April fool's joke but it wasn't, is we got a notification that we have to leave our place we've been living in for 12 years and they're selling the property and we have to move out and they only were going to give us like 30 days. The uh, property management company actually like, likes, you know, we've done great, you know, great tenant, everything. So they actually fought for another month for us, but we literally have to be out by the end of May now. And so, it was kind of interesting because since that time, it was like really April 1st, it started after this happened. Week goes by, we have these up. Then that happens and it just, it kept cascading. <laughs> All these different things. It was like this rapid thing trying to like, you know, push us out. And we actually also had thought the last few months prior to this, we had been thinking, wow, you know, our place is kind of, uh, we've kind of outgrown this. We love it. It's awesome. But we've like, our expanded energies have grown out. There's not enough room in here. We're just feeling like, so we've been thinking that. Okay. So just in our thoughts a few months. So if you think about the, that's why I said, be careful of what you think about. My God it is not like you have to even have that repetitive thoughts anymore. Like before it was like, okay, over and over and over and over. Then it's created. Now it's like, you create just by saying stuff like don't even uh, not even that much of saying it so that's why i'm saying we put, we put the shields up and actually as i realized it because it's, it's really hitting all areas of our life right now and we're excited about it because i mean we're obviously nervous about what the hell is going to happen but we're also excited because we know that this is happening for a reason and that the different reorganizations, the different repatterning. And what I feel really happened with this is that these shields went through our house, like went through, whether to tell the walls, the, you know, whatever, this just went through and was starting to feel all the energies in the house, starting to see what we've been thinking about, how we've been, uh, what, what we want or what we would like, what it is currently in the place. And then it was like, nah, okay, no, <laughs> you guys need to be somewhere else. So I'm just telling you, if you were to get all these shields and put them up on your wall like I did, just be ready. Don't even do it if you're not ready because I guarantee you, shit's gonna happen, I'm just saying. So just be mindful of what you want, right? But that's why I actually, I actually recommend just working with one of them, okay? Because that's what, or working with the, the universal healing shield as it, and then pick one other one to work with, do that for a while because they will shift and they will change. I guess we were just the experiment and wanting to just do it all at one time, you know? So, um, so that's kind of the story about that. But again, we are excited about it, but this is the healing shields that I think are, I mean, I'm trying to get people to 
upgrade and to lift them up, to work on higher levels. And um, so that's why the shields are really powerful for many, many different reasons. And um, I do have them, like I said, they're available on my website for in many different forms, okay? So what I wanna do really quickly is I want to share, some of you guys know my Magical Dimensions Oracle cards. Um, I also have a, that uh, I do have some of them here with me. Uh, we're not on a table, but I do have some here. And all of my, um, well, I, I think I've mentioned this to some people, is that I have a second deck that will come out, but it doesn't come out until 2022 or 23, because with publishing, it just takes so long. Uh, but I've turned all the materials in anyways, and it will be coming out. And then I'm also going to be doing a second edition of my Magical Dimensions Oracle deck, which will come out after that. So again, 22, 23. But I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek because I'm going to be adding 11 new images to that deck. So I wanted to show you guys the images real quick. And then um, because they're vibrationally very high and some of them actually relate to what's going on right now, even though it's not going to come out. So I wanted to do that and, and have you guys, you know, just take a look. So that's what we're going to do is I'm showing sneak peeks, okay? <laughs> they are on my website though for sale. I did put them up, but you won't see them in an Oracle deck until obviously that comes out in a couple of years. And so, okay. So the first one we're gonna be is Perseverance, okay? The reason why this is related to right now is for those of you guys that like the white lion, obviously, but this is kind of energy that talks about when you're feeling despondent or you're feeling like you just want to maybe give up and don't give up, right? Never surrender. I'm going to say, don't give up, never surrender. That's stands with Bear's line. So really, we like to, you know, you might have to take a, a break. You might have to take a recovery time just to time out, but don't give up because this is kind of like what's going on in the world right now is we somewhat feel defeated in some ways and just like, Oh, what's going on? But then just wait, you know, take the reprieve. There's always that courage of the white lion behind you with that beautiful energy that's there and ready to go. Okay. On the next round. So that's going to be perseverance. And some of these things, like I said, activating, 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 Second one is a big one for right now, okay? Big one, shifting frequencies, okay? Um, I just did a, actually it's the same weekend, um, the Seven Seal Summit this weekend, but I actually did a, a presentation that's, I'm there at the same time as I am here, because theirs is virtual, so I already did it ahead of time. But I talked about the shifting frequencies. And this one is about the bandwidth of frequencies. So as you see, she's beckoning you in, to rapidly change the frequencies up. It's like bandwidths, okay? We're on different bandwidths and we want to raise from lower to higher and that's what we're all doing. So this one helps with uh, raising frequencies and moving and shifting them up to higher realms. So I could that one cannot be more powerful and present in this moment because we're all needing to do that when everything feels like you know, shit's hitting the fan and everything's going haywire. We need to be able to instantly shift into uh, frequencies. I have a way of doing that, which I actually talked about in that conference. I'm not have time to go into it here, but I have a really great way of actually doing this, especially when you're in lower vibrations like anger, frustration, and all of that. So this one really helps out with that. Um, okay, so next one is uh, Violet Flame. How many people work with the violet flame? So it's really powerful stuff. This is a, one of the energies that works with violet flame. So we've got an angelic here that is bringing in the energies of the violet flame and also got Metatron's cube up there too. Hey, there's a pointer. Okay, so Metatron's cube is up there. Um, now I'm gonna have all sorts of fun with this thing. Butterfly, the candle down here. So everything is lit up, right? So we're diffusing and bringing in new energies, trans, uh, transmutation energies, as well as bringing in new energies with this uh, activation. Very powerful violet flame. Okay, it's probably one of Stan's Bear's favorite, and he's gonna be talking more about this in his 
talk tomorrow, so I'm not going to steal it from him. But basically, duality, basically, we're talking about um, this actually can be two different ways where we're showing the duality of what's going on in our world right now, but we're also, this could be also uh, looked at like we're coming together. All we have to do is just take that one step, you know, and both sides can kind of meet. It's like Rayon was talking about night side, light side, working together, shadow side also. So it's the bridge of those. And lifetimes. This one is, um, I think he's also using this one, so I won't talk too much about it. But this has to do with past lives and different timelines and um, different experiences that you've had and stepping back in time. And it's funny, it's moving. I feel like we're on a boat here. I was like, whoa, I was like rocking along with it. So going backward in time, you know, to the times that you've been is uh, it's very interesting. So oh, it's breathing. It is. It's like it has a life of its own. It's alive. So he, this one's really great, star power. This is really just, this is for all of you guys too. I wanted to create one that has to do with star energies, your star seed self, to step into that beautiful power that you are. We've got a couple things, you know, the blue jaguar, if you've ever seen one, I don't know, but there's one in there. And we've got some of fairy energies, the starlight though, that's coming in, uh, transmission energy that comes in. So this is your transmissions, your downloads, um, taking your, your responsibility for your purpose and what you're doing and what you're getting downloaded. This also has a very huge tie-in to that. So when you get downloads and you get new information and you get new intel, you are to utilize that to um, step it up, right? To step up your game, to use it for whatever it's meant to be used for, to help uh, humanity and beyond, okay? So really great one for the star seeds and star power. And this one is really great. It's called Ripple Effect. <laughs> and I love this because how many times have you guys created, You, it's like, throwing a little pebble in a pond. You throw a pebble in of manifestation and then it ripples out and you're like, yay, okay, I'm creating. This ripple effect is going out. Well, what do we, most of us end up doing? We either get very impatient or we don't think it's working and we throw another pebble in there. At the same time, well, maybe we just throw another pebble in. Then all of a sudden we're just throwing all these pebbles in and the ripples are just going everywhere, just chaotic and crazy. So this is really about being careful, being mindful of where you're creating and what you're putting out there in the, in the ripples of energy and manifestation. And you want to make sure you're not confusing the manifestation with too many pebbles in the pond of creation because it will uh, tend to distort or dilute or negate something that you're trying to create. So the, the message is patience <laughs> and having patience with uh, your process and manifestation. I mean, things are manifesting very quickly now, so we don't have to have a lot of patience anymore as much as we used to because things are so rapid, but it is also just about uh, making sure that you're not putting too many things in, in the fire at one time. And we've got Gateway, which actually connects to Telos, as you can see up there, that's kind of Mount Shasta. So this one connects to Mount Shasta, Telosian energy, it's the Telosian Gateway. And it is actually a custom, started out as a custom image for one of my clients, and um, Rick Hall, he's awesome. And he, um, his has a bunch of codes in it that this one doesn't, but he, um, was kind enough to let me use it as you know my my work but without the specific codes for him but this one was just really really powerful and i wanted to bring this through for everyone so that it's just literally about walking through the gateway so as we walk through the gateway of the unknown okay i know we're doing that right now walking through the gateway of the unknown with open arms with excitement with adventure and to know that it's an expansive uh, new realm you're going into. It also has to do with inner journey. So those taking very inner, inward journeys, spiritual journeys, shifts and changes in your life. 
to open up to new things, new visions, new ideas, new uh, experiences, and to have that with open arms. And the Telosian energy is very uh, crystal-based, so I always feel like they have a lot of connections to crystals. So that's why you see a lot of the, the main crystal in the middle, because it's all about the crystalline energy. And the Telosians are connected to Lemuria and very crystalline energy there too. So that's why I wanted to bring this one through. Like I said, some of these are really relevant now, even though you won't see them in, the, in my deck until later. But it'll probably still, it'll be relevant then too. It's just that it's really relevant now. All right. Now, for those of you who, astrologers out there, I decided to put a few things in here. Um, because I thought they were important. So one of them is the solar eclipse and the energies of the solar eclipse that I'm rendition, the rendition here is the fire phoenix. And so the fire phoenix is all about coming out, transformation. And so when we go through that solar eclipses, we're always eclipsing something out of our lives. But in this case, we're also new opportunities that are going to be coming forth that have a much greater, broader, expansive energy. And so I wanted to bring forth the solar eclipse and also bringing forth the lunar eclipse. So we've got the energy. So if you get, you know, obviously you can think about if you get this in a card reading and eventually you get it, then you, you'll know that it is about solar or lunar eclipses. Lunar eclipse having to do with also eclipsing things out of your life, but this is really about letting go, completion, releasing. Um, you know, it can be sadness and grief, you know, in some ways. That's why you see kind of her sitting off by herself. It's kind of like releasing things that are no longer really serving anymore, but they're kind of hard to release sometimes. They carry more emotions, okay? Lunar being tied to more of the emotions, solar being tied to more of the expansive energies of release. So they're kind of a, a two different ones, but I'm excited about this because I know the astrologers will, oh my God, there's that in there. So I really wanted to have this. And so that's why I'm adding these to the repertoire of images that I have for you guys and also um, for the future deck because they're energies that I felt um, it's nice that I could go through and say, what was missing in the first one or what do I want to add and, and bring these to light, okay? So lastly, I think this is the last one on here, is the golden age, which again, we are in the golden age. How many of you guys know that? We are in the golden age. We are in the Aquarian age. This is the age we've stepped into, okay? We, in my view, we, have, we are already in it. I know some astrologers that can look at it and say we won't be there until, I don't know, 2059 or something, but I feel We've already been in transition for the last 50 years, and now we are in the beginning stages of the golden age, and that a lot of us that were born in the 1960s were, uh, the, these are the kind of bringers of that, that heralding in of the golden age, the new, the new age, bringing it in. And then some of the, the people that are born like after 2010, which are gonna be the newer ones, newer children coming in, that are, they're gonna be taking the torch. Like, it's like the relay race, you know, where you're just, pull, here's the baton, and they're the ones that are gonna take and run with it. We are the ones, in case, I don't know how old everybody is here, but if you're, but I guarantee you, there's a lot of people that were born, you know, after 1960 in this room. How many of you guys? Let me just see a show of hands. See, a lot of people, you guys were all the ones that are bringing this stuff forward for, the next generations it's not necessarily all for us so that's why our job is a little bit more difficult <laughs> because we're the ones like the indigos that came in to break all the you know stuff that's not working and and get rid of that stuff and make a fuss because it's not working and then the you know make it an easier path for the crystallines to come in well same true for all of us working in the gold uh, the golden age or the aquarian age we're the ones bringing this forth. So I just had to bring in one that has to do with the golden age because we're in it right now. And we need these, uh, Sandalfer and I work a lot with the golden liquid light, okay? The high vibration of golden liquid light. There's just nothing like it, okay? It's a very high energy, but it 
it brings in that light, that sunlight energy, the, the brilliance um, of what makes our energy strong and what makes us, um, you know, just our spiritual sense. We get that, that fire going and that energy surge and that it really helps us with higher vibrations. So I really wanted to bring the golden age through. Just one of my favorite, and you know you can't really tell maybe in here, but there are a couple dolphins up there <laughs> at the top because the energy of the dolphins brings in the fun, the lightness, the energy that we all need sometimes when it gets really heavy and the energy is kind of pulling us down. We want to pull it back up with the lightness, the brightness, the golden light, and the dolphins. All right, so that's part of that. Um, I, how much time do I have left? I don't even know. Does anyone know? <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. I did talk about that. And if, yes, Jason's help, my helper with that. But I do have some of the Magical Dimensions Oracle dark, uh, deck here, in the bag that we have here. Um, but what I wanted to do, since I had some time, I wasn't sure where I was going to finish off with all of this. But I thought I would do, at the end here, a light language activation for you all. Would you like that? Yeah, I am known as the light language lady, right? So I guess I have to do this if I had time. I was like, oh, I got to do this. So I'm going to, hold on one second. I'm just going to put this down really quick here. So I have one free hand. All right, so I think what, actually, you know what? I'm going to do is go backwards here if I can flip back. I'm going to have these. Um, I have to go all the way back to the beginning here because I want to have that one that's up that has all of the shields on it. So now you get a, a reflect here in past. I should ask, right? <laughs> Are you guys ready for it? Anyone who's let's anyone who's not ready for change might want to go to the bathroom right now. Just saying. I mean, I'd pick one, but you know, hey, if we have to go through it, you guys got to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we're almost back here. I think too. This is going a little, just a little lag time here. One more. There we go. All right, so some vortex energy here. So when I do these light language activations for everybody, I never know quite what's gonna come forth. So, um, and most likely my activations are going to be changing from one language into the other. I don't know what is playing in the background, but I'm like, what is that? Is that like Brian's like awesome music he's got on his computer or something? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, uh, not quite the right music. I mean, you can play one of mine again if you want in the background. Like, it doesn't matter, but <laughs> that was funny. Like, do 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 do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, yeah, these these are gonna be. So these are gonna be energies that will flow from one to the other. So. Don't worry about what, what language is you speaking. Just put that mind off to the side and just kind of be in the space of energizing, receiving whatever comes. And if you get messages that come through in words, in English or your native language, then let that be. It's okay, okay? But I'm just going to go with it. And I'm going to also bring some energies through that will help to smooth over so that it won't hopefully be as dramatic as what's happening here. But just when you're doing this, I want you guys to think about area in your, just pick one area in your life perhaps that you would like to maybe upgrade or shift or change or something that would like to transform and just put your focus on that while we're doing this, okay? So everybody get into a nice deep space, take a nice deep breath and release. Good. 
Shinesta Kalmanas, the Dadashi Kenos Gronado, Dosomo Kushim Sarasan Tadimi Sukurushko Gronade, Doson at the Tishkarana, Turut Kurushkidi, the Gria, the Gria, the Gria Shkono, Sotogromadish Kidi, the Gri, and the Gri, and no two Shonagis give the Gria, the Gria, the Grom, Sotomish Kidi, the Kidi, the Grondo, Summer the Kashkono, the Gotogon, so much you could to get this Gondi at home. Sutomadeshki, Tarana Nakosun, Toromashki, and the Great Great Crown to Groskun, Sutomadeshki, Sonamarkashkun, Tomada Ashkun, the Runs, who she calls Saganamaneste, Sananos, Gudia, Nataramadashium, Uranato, on Torum, Arshamani Okurum, Sumatara Unchibia, some of Mashum de Kulkas, Parasum Tarashi, Ikora, Tarmanasa, Itarana, Umsa, Kashimeata. Sita Tananasa Tanane Te Tinaneko Un Saran Mashatu Sun Tarashan to Taramadashatu and Tarashon Sadati and Tasanatu Umasu Suni Chishi and Natasuna Kanimishi no Suno Manatasanati Suturushi Din Te on Taraman Asa Tanane to Unso Santa Amso Ishini to Unkura Amsa Untai se Unsishianan Daisona Kaimi se Unsosho Unso Shikuayente some see and Taran at so soon, Sari Shunkuri and Taram so, whom she watchy shun to son no casson tar, unsayo shim, who and Taramanasaki, son tashe, sudan amaso, unkaiso, unse tentes, unso she, untarmaso, it is so na am saki shua, tane is soda, and Sari is so conashe, so tarana and see it you shama kalsianas. Masona Taim Ta Som Bekhela Knashtik Ne Akalestend is so called Akalekeshen Sukun Aglaklek Nes Tamakash Bakafines Bastan Alakesh Tikir Kalak Nestem Unak Laki Dutusho Kalak Nek Ek Achan Eshik Echnea Otokonun Usok, Lakama Shiki Vien Tiakron Kor, and Sak Wai Tekne, Wakayek Nashikim, Bastekne, Amashakindi, Akwar and Tan Makalakeshen, Sokarat Mek, Gitaramoku Ur Shakalak, Das Dani Ekime, Dakomal Alashenak. Paranda Sarayende, Parandaya Sakunar, Parantashan Alma Layeti, Dukuro Kurianini, Wana Tan Marse, Shelea Ale, Gulungula Mantae Ma Oan, Mai Sae, Gave Haran, Diam Sa, Baren Harai, Menesi Ura. Barantura, Mari Ekra, Shaimi, Sanan, Halesh. Ike Wakan Asakini Kiwash Anata Make Umasa T. T. Suna, Densa, Mahi Kiwa, Gayeshan, Gabola Danagu Guranji, Shumbaguagi, Dezege Maga, Da Wunga Hunga. Jesus, my God, Judy, Zogo, Garni, Jiki, Vigi, Zendo, Goro, Magara, Jando, Gara, Denizi, Bagado, Jogo, Ganada, Marador, Taramazo, Gorji, Dura, Tazandari, Gimi, Agora, Gara, Vangia, Gugungu, Zamada, Zubaji, Di, Magar, Varanzeji, Jangio, Gaye, Dizumba, Gaye, Zana, Zaraj, Arjan. Everybody take a nice deep breath in and breathe all the energies and the codes integrating into your body, into your cells, into your physical, etheric, astral, all the different realms around you. Just breathing in the energy and letting it flow. Hmm. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for everything. I hope you enjoyed that. Love you guys.